Hey there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. In our last video we talked about maps. We looked at reference maps and thematic maps. Today we're going to be talking about geographic data. We're going to be focusing on how geographers collect data and also how they organize it. So it's no secret that people use data all the time. Even you when you're trying to figure out what YouTube video to use probably look at the views before you even click on it or the thumbnail or maybe you look at the comments or the amount of likes a video has. Then you decide to invest your time in it. That's using data. You're looking at numbers. Now we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. We need to first focus though on how are we collecting data and how do geographers actually interpret all this information. When trying to collect data, we could look at quantitative research or we could look at qualitative research. Qualitative research uses surveys and interviews and observations. Oftentimes, the results of these research methods are up for debate. This research is mainly used when you're trying to understand a particular culture or a religion or racial group or ethnic group or gender or even just the quality of life of a society. The information collected is often subjective and that's for a variety of factors. It depends on when did we conduct the research, who who did we talk to in the research? Remember, this type of research is getting people's opinions, their thoughts, understanding their beliefs. And because of this, it can be really hard to replicate. Researchers here are going to ask a variety of open-ended questions, like what and how questions. For example, how do dairy farmers feel about government regulations? Or, how accepted do Muslims feel living in France? Oftentimes, researchers who are using qualitative research will find spatial information in written testimonies. They'll talk to people on the streets. They'll look at diaries, the media reports. They're going to observe just general life. They'll even analyze the cultural landscape all to better help them understand what it's like to live in that society. Quantitative research, on the other hand, looks to definitively prove something. This type of research isn't interested in people's opinions. They're going to be using numbers and facts. This would be great if we were trying to understand the demographic breakdown of a geographic area or well, the economic outlook for that particular society. Here, things are definitive. It's not up for debate and the results won't be subjective. The results are often in number form, and there's not a lot of discussion on if the numbers are right or not, because this type of research can easily be replicated. If I didn't think that you did the study correctly, I could just replicate what you did in the same scenario, and I should get the same result. So here you can fact check each other. Maybe there's some discussion based on how to interpret the numbers, but the data, the research itself is not up for discussion. Researchers using quantitative research are often trying to answer a hypothesis. They're asking how and does questions. They're not as interested in open-ended ones. For example, what's the religious breakdown of the United States? Or how many voters live in urban areas compared to rural areas? These answers are looking for specific numbers, facts. They're not looking for opinions or personal beliefs. Oftentimes, researchers will use census data, geospatial technologies like satellites, online mapping, or geographic information systems. Now, I can already hear some of you asking, Mr. Sin, what is a geographic information system? Don't worry, I got you covered. A geographic information system is a computer system that actually analyzes and manages and displays a large variety of data and information on a particular geographic Area. This information is often collected by satellites or GPS that might use remote sensing. Remote sensing is the process of collecting geographic data on an area without actually having to be present there. Satellites do this all the time when they capture images of Earth and then we use that information to create multi-layer maps. This allows us to analyze all of the complex data that the satellite has recorded. And it also allows us to better visualize it, making us able to see different trends and to better understand different relationships. One quick example of this could be farmers. They're actually using satellites and drones a lot more now to better understand the health of their crops. This has allowed them to target areas of their fields that need more water or maybe are experiencing issues with bugs. And this has then increased their yields and allowed them to be able to produce more food and make more money. All right, I hope you can see by now the benefits of using both quantitative and qualitative research. When these are used effectively, we can gain a holistic view of society. Now, next time we're going to be talking about how do we actually use this data? We're going to be looking at different scales. We'll talk about individuals in society, the government, and business. And if you feel like you got some value out of this video and you want to help support me and the channel, make sure you subscribe. That'll also make sure you get notified when I post the next video. Oh, and before I go, make sure you also check your answers to the quiz questions I've been on the screen. Remember, you can find those in the comments below. Okay, until next time, geographers, I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you online.